I was called as young men's president out here originally, and my first meeting out here was with one boy, and that was Junior Reyes. I was only one in church, and I was like, um, every time I go to firesides with our um, youth leader, I'll be see um, their the whole branch stake, um, they be like, they're all big, and it would just be me, and I'll be like, you know, I gotta open my mouth. Why am I the only person? You know, it's a lot of kids in the Mockley. And um, Junior Reyes was challenged to go out and, and go invite some more friends, first to the scouting activities and then also to the Sunday uh, meetings that we were having. And because of that, um, we had uh, Wedner Dolly, you know, join and, uh, you know, other friends and those friends invited friends and, and uh, you know, it was a really positive thing. And, and from there on, um, step by step, we got um, more and more kids. I was the first one to convert into the church. Um, I was one of the one and only until I converted um, a buddy of mine, which is Wood and Dolly. Yeah, like you said, yeah, he converted me. He he invited me into the church, and then after that, I invited a few of my friends that I knew for a long time, Millsop and Wilnit. Yeah, and then after that. And then I came with my cousin right there. Uh, <laughs> what's up? What's up? <laughs> yeah, I was converted to by Mosa. Uh, that's me. And I brought my buddy here, Jackinson. And then like a year later, my brother visited me and he started to stay with me. And then I invited my brother and my good friend Keevan right here. Yeah, just like he said, he invited me. Um, I was coming from my dad's house and he showed me this great church. It all started with one person. It was like, it's like a tree. Today we have uh, 26 active boys coming to church. Our quorum is always together. I mean, we do everything together. There's a strong feeling in our group that we're brothers. I love my brothers. Without them, I don't know where I would be right now. They're sinful to me, because like, every time, if I'm about to do something bad or anything like that, I think, I think twice, and I'll be like, yeah, I'm pretty stupid. Um, older and stuff and like my friends are calling on me to do the right thing and th and I'm calling on them to do the right thing so so yeah it's really important to me. Since we're from the church well like we know what we expect out of each other. It's important because it keeps us all together like if someone's like not coming to church I can ask them why you don't come to church like we all miss you we need you and they're like yeah we all miss you and they'll come that's why it's important to like always stay together as one. And when one try to fade out, we can bring them, we can always bring, um, bring them back. The largest group we have in our branch is our, our Young Men program because these guys, they live, they live the gospel. Um, they're disciples of Christ and they love the Lord and they're not afraid to invite their friends to, to come and, and have the happiness and joy that they have. I'm not afraid to talk to other people about the church because I tell them what's true, like what I know is true about Jesus Christ and about the church. And sometimes church come up and like, what church you go to? Like, I go to to Latter Day Saints church. Like, say, what's that? Like, come see, you'll see. It shows that they really care and stuff. Like, they got the gospel and it did good good for them, and they don't want nobody left behind. So it shows a lot. That's why we invite a lot of people. To me, to be a believer is to. You know, you know, you know what's true. You, you tell what, you're not afraid to tell people what you know is true because you're a believer. We read in Doctrine and Covenants that they're challenged to invite all to come on to Christ, and that's exactly what they did. They went and invited their friends. These these boys aren't afraid to open their mouth and to share the gospel with their friends.